All right, so I think I'm gonna call this video the rise of Apple. Yes, indeed, the rise of Apple. And if you're watching this video, I need you to hit that like button. I know everybody says that, but I really need you to hit that like button because I get no love on YouTube, okay, no love. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about Apple. Let's talk about the rise of Apple. Let's talk about how I said a couple of weeks ago before the downturn that Apple will lead Apple's the market. Apple, when Apple starts going down, the market will stop going down. And today, even though on this terrible day, terrible day, I think the Dow right now, let me scroll down. Dow was down 763 points. It's 921. It's Monday. It's 120 when I'm making this video. Okay, the Dow is down 763 point. S&P down 77. NASDAQ down 75. It was way worse earlier. But I'm looking at these techs. Okay, and look at apple here you can see it right here right right there right that's the one minute chart i'll bring it up over here on the bigger screen all right so right out the gate this is today boom the thing just started racing up i think we got a floor here i you know i i sold some puts i i, I was small in the position but I sold some puts, so the market was going down. Apple's going up, up, up. It's positive territory. It's up 0.62. And the NASDAQ is still down, right? NVIDIA. NVIDIA, up. Look at NVIDIA, right? Up 1.29. The NASDAQ is down. Let's look up AMD. Up 3.16. The NASDAQ is down. Hey, how about my stock? How about my stock I've been touting this whole time? Peloton. Peloton up 6.53%. Now, I know it's up because Europe over there, they thinking about closing the economy. But it doesn't matter. I mean, I told you when these earnings was fantastic. The market will always comes back to earnings. It will always. It, that, where are you going to put your money? You want growth. It's always going to come back to growth. That's why Apple's running. That's why NVIDIA is running. Tesla, <laughs> right? It's, it's the same stocks. Nothing's going to change. Let's look at the uh, this right here. And it's not updated as well. I click refresh because it's showing Apple down. It's not down 0.30. But look at things like Coke, right? You're not gonna you're not gonna make a fortune in Coke. <laughs> Pepsi, P and G. But look at the technology over here. Look how it's not deep red. Right? Look at Adobe. Right, these are growth company. Oracle, we know that the bite dance, it's kind of weird to me. I don't even want to talk about it, but Oracle and Walmart. You see Walmart over here up 0.18. NVIDIA, AMD, Qualcomm, Intuit, ServiceNow. These are stocks that are up. KLA Corp. PayPal. Come down to financial? F fintech? PayPal. Right, so... What I think is it's setting up for a good turnaround Tuesday. <laughs> yes, indeed. I think this is the start of a bounce, okay? I just want to call it a bounce, just the start of something. I mean, we've been going down hard, and we're finally getting some traction of, well, we're finally getting that bounce. I Man, before it was just go straight down, boom, 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 and you got the leaders that was leading the market to the upside, starting to try to lead the train. Now, I don't know why. Let me go to the cues. Here's the cues. Oh, God, this is just, I got it. How about I clear all this stuff out? Can I do that? Yeah, that's the four hour chart. Maybe pull up the one minute like everything else. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a little turn around. We got a reverse head and shoulders right here, right? Do I have to draw it out? Uh, yeah, maybe I do. It takes some time. I don't have the pen tool, but you see that? And sure enough, it is popping. So maybe we're, we're, we're setting up for that bounce. So I sold some cues. Oh, man. Put spreads. I sold the 263, the 261s. All right. So, and I was, when I sold them, it kind of went down to 260. And I was like, oh, man, maybe this ain't the bounce. And what made me sell it, it was because Apple. But I kept it in there. I was like, oh, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. And sure enough, so they, they're turning positive. I'm thinking about this buying a straight-up call, which I did as well. But I, I sold it back. Okay? I'm, I think I'm going to buy another one. And um, 
Let me see, we got Facebook. Look at Facebook. Look at the turn. Look at the turn, and sure enough, it hit support. It hit it. You know how I know? Because I was in the stock for this whole way. Look at that right there on the line. This is the weekly. It's a good It's a good enough time to get in. This is the exact level of when the uh, corporation was like, let's ban Facebook. Okay, this is that level. And we heard that good earnings report, which it, which exploded this thing to 304. And now it's back at that same level. You have a chance to get in. Now, I do think there's still a lot of headwinds for Facebook. But let me tell you something. In the future, this thing will be higher. All right, Facebook, it just, it will be higher. Okay, but it does have some headwinds. But hey, man, you're looking to get long Facebook for the long term. Yeah, this could be a good entry point. Um, ah, DraftKings. Hopefully you got in because this thing was down nicely to a 10, 15, 10% this morning. You see, this thing went down. Unlike Apple was going up, down. But you see, we, we hit that, that. We held 49 and it's kind of creeping back up. I don't know how. I mean, DraftKings went up a good. 35 <laughs> I called it I'm all, I was a little late but I was still early enough for the big rip before Disney came in and said hey we we want to work with you guys okay so um where was that that was right here right that was right there so since then it's been up 35 percent all right um I missed that move um but here right down seven percent I don't know. It could come down a little longer, but I don't think so. If it does, it is a buy. It's a lot. Don't. This is a buy. I'm telling you, put it in. Buy it. Put it in your drawer and forget about it. <laughs> but I'm buying it for a trade. But I, for the most part, I got long. I got leaps on this thing. All right. So um, it is down today. It's still down six point. Ooh, I don't even want to say. Okay, now I'll say six point six three percent. It was a number I didn't want to say. So I'm down today. But I'm. I just, I have confidence, have faith. I know it's just, I mean, the thing ripped 35% in a few days. So, um, you know, just a little pullback. Even if it came down here to 44, which will be an incredible buying opportunity, um, it's going to be off to the races. It, it, it really is, in my opinion. So let's just hope, this is a quick video. I want to keep it quick. I just want to say, let's just hope that we're setting up for that turnaround Tuesday. Right, the Qs are still up. Right now, it's down 0.72. Can we close positive? Right, I was looking at the advanced decline line. This is one thing that concerns me, that we're just pinned down here. Right, 2400. We, it almost looks like a trending down day, but it's not. Let me pull up the S and P real quick, cause no, that's the advanced decline for the Nasdaq. See, here's the S and P, and we saw what the Nasdaq is doing. But why is the advanced decline? like that I guess because it's just a few stocks that's bouncing but I think they're gonna be able to lead become leaders like they been right we might get that market we had I should say it's not necessarily where it's just those handful and you can hey you can make money on those you can make money on those so that's got me kind of concerned I would like this to see you know it's going up let me just pull up the VIX and maybe we can end it here yeah so the VIX is it's still it's still up nine basically let's call it a 10 percent for the day but you can see it's at the lows of the day all right we opened here with the vix i'm gonna draw a little line and you see we're below that right maybe we're gonna fill that gap so that's good news as well but it's still up 10 percent today that's that's pretty high that's high man <laughs> all right so anyway walmart i i think you could you know walmart with the uh Come on, help me out. TikTok. I don't know how they, what well, they own. Ten, it's a weird deal. ByteDance still owns 80%, but tick, Walmart and Oracle own 20. So I guess 10 each. But how is they're in control when uh, ByteDance owns 80? I, I got to look into that. I, but th that's how I understood it, unless I understood it wrong. So um, don't quote me on those figures, but that just seems weird. But anyway, there's some buys in here. And if you do want to make some fast money, ass money <laughs> i hate to call it that because suppose these stocks just collapse you know we're coming into the end of the day anyway i still like peloton and i still like DraftKings. i know it's having a rough day but 
I mean, a stock that's going up 35%, of course, of course it's going to have, it's gonna, it might have a couple, you know, it could be the start of some rough days ahead. But uh, I think each day that it gets lower is more and more of a better buying opportunity. And of course, Apple, I mean, I like that. I, I just... I think this is it. <laughs> I think this is this is the bounce. Okay, I think this. Let me see something here, because it looks like right there. No, kind of went under, but not really. Let's clear this. Let me show you this on a weekly. Get rid of that, and I'm gonna end it here. I promise. We're gonna just draw a trend line, right? And I'm gonna draw it up like that. There it is. I connected this point. I connected this point. And I connected this point. Now you can see this is the weekly chart. The week just started. This doesn't really count, man. Right? If we can close above there, that trend line, that means the trend held. Right? So that's what I, I really want to focus on. So hopefully we got the rest of this week. And I think this is going to hold. We just overshot it. We overshot it. And maybe it'll come back. And if Apple holds, I think, you know, we could rally from there. I said this the last one. Of course, I got to bring up Tesla. I didn't bring it up. Tesla. Did you? Oh, should I talk about? I got to talk about the Nikola, Nikola thing. Anyway, Tesla. Huh. This is bullish, right? It's up. It's like a bull flag or ascending triangle, however you want to look. I, I see a couple little patterns here. And I'm afraid of the stock now. I don't know why, but it looks like it wants to break higher. Okay, and probably challenge those all-time highs, especially after Nikola. <laughs> Basically, the nickel. You know, I guess. You know, at one point, you know, you you think nickel is into the race of the EV. No, they're not. You had the CEO resign after getting GM to to bite. <laughs> you know, and, and come, become believers of the company and get ten percent, and they're gonna make your. You know. So he's doing all of that, and this is the greatest thing on earth, and you resign after the SEC is looking into your your whole thing because they thought they pushed to let a truck roll down the hill that wasn't really powered on the hydrogen kind of thing. And so you had, was it the Hindenburg research, say? They go short first, and they're like, oh, look at this. It's terrible. This is a fraud. So you. Basically, you get the SEC in there now, and and then you resign. I don't know. It just seems like there's. It's in my opinion. I don't know all the details. It seems like somebody should go to jail. <laughs> it seems like somebody's gonna go to get locked up, man. Something just don't seem right. Why? Anyway, so the stock is down. Oh, I'm not even looking at it, man. The stock is down 18%. It is off its lows. Look at how it broke that trend line. I, I mean, I don't know what to do with it. It's just unbelievable. You know, this guy, that's like Elon Musk resigning, you know. I mean, you didn't even put up a fight. for <laughs> just, So um, here's General Motors down 5%. Poor GM. You know, I hope they did their due diligence, and hopefully Nikola does got some kind of technology. <laughs> but... um. To be to be continued. We'll see if uh, Nikola is a fraud. You know, I, I don't know. All right, so thanks for watching. I'm Dre. Please like this video. Um, I just want to make it quick. I decided I'm going to do live videos once a week, and I'm going to try to do those on Friday or maybe the weekend. And I'm just going to do these kind of videos um, every day, right? You're not here with me. I'm going to just kind of keep going on, talk about the market, talk what, about what I'm doing. All right. So the lives, they wasn't, I wasn't bringing you in, man. You know, I, I wanted to bring more people in. And so it kind of gets me like, uh, you know, so let's just focus on some things. Let's, let's get it out quick. And then the lives, we could talk about whatever you want to talk about and whatever happened in the past week. Talk about anything, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? So I want to do the lives one day a week. And I also think that it helps me. I don't, for some reason, I, I thought lives gave, let YouTube give me some love, but no, it doesn't. The pre recorded for me gives me more love. Why? I don't know. If you know why, put it in the comments below. So I'm still trying to experiment to, so I could get some YouTube love. <laughs> All right. So I'm kind of just 
trying different styles. All right. So anyway, thanks for watching. Definitely like it and subscribe if you already probably already are since you're watching this video. And I appreciate everyone watching. I really do. Um, I try to do it every day, right? Every day, Friday, we're going to go live. So make sure you have that bell. You have that notification. So when I go live, you're in there with me and me and you can chat talking about the stocks you want to talk about. All right. So thanks for watching. I'm Dre. This is Dre Trades, Twitter, Instagram, and right here on YouTube, Dre Trades 2. Peace.